How to Find Gold in Quartz Veins, A Geologist's Guide to Hidden Riches Introduction In the world of geology and natural resource exploration, few things captivate the human imagination more than gold. But while many imagine it as glittering nuggets in riverbeds, most of Earth's gold is found hidden deep within the hard, white veins of quartz running through bedrock. In this video, we'll dive into the geological processes that form gold-bearing quartz veins, how to locate them in the field, identify their features, and use tools to test for gold content. This isn't just for hobbyists, this is a professional guide backed by geoscience, made for geology students, prospectors, and mining enthusiasts alike. 1. The Geological Science Behind Quartz Veins Hydrothermal Systems Quartz veins form in hydrothermal environments, where hot aqueous fluids circulate through fractures in the Earth's crust. These fluids are often associated with magmatic activity or metamorphic dewatering. As they cool, the silica in the fluids precipitates as quartz, if gold is present, it co-precipitates or becomes mechanically trapped. Structural Controls Vein formation is strongly influenced by structural geology. Most gold-bearing veins occur along fault zones, shear zones, or at lithological contacts. Look for brittle ductal deformation zones, these act as conduits for fluid movement. Associated Rock Types Common host rocks, greenstone belts, sericite schists, felsic intrusives, argillites, and metasediments. Alteration halos, e.g., silicification, sericitization, chloridization, around veins often indicate hydrothermal activity. 2. Where to find gold-bearing quartz veins? Favorable regions. California Mother Lode, USA. Victoria Goldfields, Australia. Red Lake and Abitibi Greenstone Belt, Canada. Kohler Gold Fields, India. Witwaters Rand Basin, South Africa, note, different type, but includes vein systems. Geologic settings. Regions with ancient tectonic activity. Areas with exposed Precambrian bedrock. Proximity to historical gold mines. Field clues. Outcrops with white quartz veins cutting across dark host rock. Signs of past artisanal mining, trenches, pits, stamp mill remnants. Rust-stained rocks near quartz, oxidized sulfides may indicate gold. 3. How to identify gold in quartz veins. Visible indicators. Visible gold in quartz, rare but definitive. Look for iron oxide staining, Gaussian caps, and oxidized sulfide minerals, pyrite, arsenopyrite. Green or gray alteration halos may indicate chlorite or sericite zones. Invisible gold. Much of the gold in quartz is submicroscopic may be trapped within sulfide minerals and only visible after crushing and chemical testing. Hands-on field testing. Use a rock hammer to break samples. Crush samples and use a gold pan to test sediments. Test with metal detectors designed for hard rock, e.g., MineLab GPX series. Streak tests, acid tests, and UV fluorescence, some associated minerals fluoresce. 4 professional exploration techniques. Mapping and sampling. Create detailed geological maps noting vein direction, strike slash dip, thickness, and host rock. Sample along strike and at different depths. Take note of cross-cutting relationships, they indicate age and fluid pathways. Advanced tools. Portable XRF analyzers for real-time geochemical analysis. Petrographic microscope for thin section analysis. ICPMS or fire assay for lab grade gold quantification. Ground penetrating radar, GPR, and resistivity surveys for subsurface imaging. 5. Economic significance and gold grades. Gold grades, PPM. Economic, 1 to 5 PPM, grams per ton, is often mineable if widespread. High grade, greater than 10 grams per ton. Bonanza veins can reach over 100 grams per ton, but these are rare. Mining techniques. 
open pit mining for near surface veins, underground mining for deeper or narrow high grade veins. Gold extraction often uses gravity separation, cyanide leaching, or flotation. Safety and legal considerations. Safety. Always wear PPE, goggles, gloves, steel toed boots. Be cautious in unstable outcrops or mine shafts. Carry a first aid kit, GPS, and notify someone before fieldwork. Legal. In many countries, prospecting requires a permit or mineral claim. Be aware of private land and protected areas. Never disturb archaeological or culturally significant sites. 7. Conclusion and Tips for Beginners, 2230-2400 Hours Quartz veins are not just fascinating geological features, they are treasure maps that tell the story of the Earth's internal plumbing system. By learning to read the rock, follow fluid pathways, and recognize mineral associations, you can dramatically increase your chances of finding gold. Whether you're exploring ancient greenstone belts or your local creek bed, remember, the rock always tells a story. Learn to read it, and you may uncover hidden riches beneath your feet. Call to action. Like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe to Professional Geology Club for expert geology content. Comment below if you've ever searched for gold and quartz or want tips on a specific region. Turn on notifications for upcoming videos on pegmatites, ore deposits, and economic geology. The ability to locate gold within quartz veins is far more than a mere prospecting skill, it represents a deep connection to the Earth's geological narrative and the complex processes that have shaped mineralization over millions of years. For geologists and geological engineers, Understanding these hidden riches is essential not only for advancing exploration success but also for appreciating the intricate interplay between structural geology, hydrothermal activity, and mineral deposition. This knowledge enables professionals to read the subtle signs embedded in rock formations, distinguish valuable ore bearing quartz from barren host rock, and apply precise analytical techniques that turn field observations into actionable insights. The insights shared in this video provide a comprehensive framework to approach quartz vein exploration systematically, from recognizing key visual indicators and structural settings to integrating geochemical data and sampling methods. Ultimately, mastering how to find gold in quartz veins empowers geoscientists to contribute to sustainable resource development, drive innovation in mining practices, and elevate the standards of geological investigation. Embracing this expertise elevates your role from a passive observer of nature's formations to an active interpreter and discoverer, capable of unlocking the Earth's concealed treasures with confidence and scientific rigor.